YouTubers, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone, and today we're going to talk about the 38 Special. What makes the 38 Special special? After all, it's been around for 115 years. Introduced in 1898 as a black powder round, it was very popular then because it was more powerful than the 38 caliber rounds that went before it. And it transitioned smoothly right during that era into smokeless powder and the popularity actually increased because the 38 Special was very versatile usable in small frame pocket revolvers all the way to big, bigger service pistols. Now load number one, the wad cutter loadings were very popular either in the regular wad cutter or hollow base wad cutters by the factories. Number one happens to be a Winchester 148 grain wad cutter target load. Very usable for training, for marksmanship, uh, education, for police departments to train their recruits and also it was used in service loads for the small snubby pistols that some of the detectives carried. But the standard loadings were the 158 grain lead bullets which you see number two to five. All the major fat ma manufacturing companies made the 158 grain round nose lead bullet and it was very popular in law enforcement for many years all the way up into the 60s and going into the 70s but then the semi-automatic pistols came in and the 38 special fell out of use in law enforcement but maintained its popularity with the civilian shooters because again the versatility the economy and the accuracy from light loadings to heavier loadings usable for defense. The 38 Special is, is still one of the major sellers and in reloading equipment also. Number two happens to be a Winchester. Number three and four are Remingtons. Number five is a Federal. Now the military also went to the, the 38 and it's very popular in, uh, in use for the Air Force and was used in World War II and even afterwards. Number six is a military 130 grain full metal case bullet very popular with the Air Force. Now back in the 60s the effort was made to make the 38 Special more usable for law enforcement by increasing its stopping power and so plus P loadings were popular then and Number seven is a Remington 158 grain lead hollow point semi wide cutter plus P. This is the FBI load and it's famous because it's the one that stopped the Miami shootings when other rounds failed. Now this bullet will expand because it's a soft lead bullet. But then the high velocity era came along Number eight is a Winchester silver tip, 110 grain, lighter bullet driven at faster velocity to get the mushrooming effect that was what was desired. But now we have loadings like the Federal Hydroshock 147 grain, number nine, and that one is a very e effective defense round and a service round. If the police department were using it, they'd be using number nine today, or rounds like it. Now civilian reloaders really like the 38 Special because it's so versatile again and very economical, very accurate, very clean and so a lot of loadings are done with a 148 grain hollow base wad cutter number A lead bullets that are very accurate out to 50 yards and use powder charges in the 2.2 to 2.7 grain charge and makes it very economical to load fun to shoot, accurate and clean. Number B, some reloaders like to load those hollow base wide cutters backwards and found some effectiveness in snubby pistols. But we have other loadings now that are, are better for defense with a snubby pistol. So these have fallen out of favor. Now number C is a standard loading of the 158 grain lead semi wide cutter and in lighter semi-wad cutters with lighter powder charges 
This became a very popular and is a very popular load for cowboy action shooting, which has given the 38 Special a big boost in popularity. Now finally, the number D is the Keith concept of a, of a longer nose, heavier bullet, driven by a case full of slow burning powder, so we can push around a thousand feet per second with this loading. And Elmer Keith pushed this load to its limit and actually spurred the development of the 357 Magnum cartridge. So the 38 Special actually became the progenitor of the 357 Magnum that we all lo also love very much today. So to J-frame revolvers like this five-shot Smith or the Model 85 Taurus five-shot onto service pistol sizes like this Colt Police Positive and onward to large frame revolvers suitable for hunting and defense like this Ruger GP100 or Colt Python to cowboy action shooting with the Ruger Vaquero and the Winchester Model 94 carbine YouTubers the 38 Special is special and if you get a chance to own any of these or others, you'll know what I mean. YouTubers out there, take care. The 38 Special is special, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.